Greetings and salutations. Thank you for lending an ear to The Voice of the Times this Tuesday, March 16, 2021. For today's editorial, Nation Outraged by MRT Disinfection Scandal. As Metro Manila faces new curfews and other restrictions because of the increasing cases of coronavirus disease 2019 or COVID-19, a video taken by a passenger of the Metro Rail Transit 3 or MRT 3 sparked fury for showing two employees displaying anything but diligence in disinfecting a train after it had reached the end of the line. The short video apparently taken in the North Avenue station in Quezon City on Saturday was posted and shared thousands of times on social media. Netizens were one in their condemnation of the employees' obvious casual regard for their work, which, it goes without saying, did not result in any visible disinfection of the train. The management of the MRT3 as well as Transportation Secretary Arthur Tugare responded to the embarrassing incident with predictably appropriate remarks. The MRT3 promised that the incident would be investigated and the airing employees disciplined, though in what way it did not say. While Tugade gently chided the MRT3 management and staff, reminding them of the seriousness of the maintaining proper sanitation along with the various safety protocols imposed on passengers to prevent the spread of COVID-19, particularly now when daily cases have hit record highs. The MRT-3 is operated by the government under the Department of Transportation or DOTR, while the city's other two rail lines, the Light Rail Transit 1 and Light Rail Transit 2 or LRT-1 and LRT-2 are under private operation. All three purportedly follow strict safety protocols, including limiting the capacity of trains and stations to maintain physical distancing, requiring passengers to wear face masks and face shields at all times, banning talking or mobile phone use while aboard the train, and carrying out frequent disinfection of the train carriages. The first video and the concerned authorities' response to it should have been the end of the scandal. But then, a second video emerged. The second short video, also widely shared, was reportedly taken on Monday morning at the Taft Avenue station and showed two different employees doing exactly the same thing as their lazy colleagues at the end of the line. The public seems to have drawn a few conclusions from what they have witnessed, and none of them are complementary to the MRT3 the DOTR, or the government's overall pandemic control efforts. The most obvious conclusion is that despite assurances from the MRT3, sanitation procedures as carried out are grossly inadequate, and that riding the train may very well present an elevated risk of infection. Many netizens also complain of the apparent double standard being displayed. While ordinary citizens are browbeaten into following health protocols and are constantly reminded by government officials that it is their own lack of discipline and respect for the rules that is responsible for the surge in cases, government itself appears to be doing virtually nothing to help protect the public. Some also pointed out that the MRT3 employees are put in an almost impossible position by the rail operator. The waiting time for a train between finishing one trip and starting the return trip to the other end of the line is apparently just two minutes, and only two employees are detailed to carry out the disinfection procedure, which is virtually impossible in that amount of time. The obvious fix would be for the MRT3 to either deploy a sufficient number of personnel to carry out proper sanitation procedures in two minutes or less, or extend the turnaround time for trains to allow a smaller crew time to do the job properly. Incidents like these, especially when they indicate a pattern of poor performance rather than just one or two people behaving badly, only serve to further undermine the government's already tenuous credibility with respect to information and action in the fight against COVID-19. It is all the more unfortunate because these are entirely avoidable problems, brought on by a lack of attention to detail in planning and oversight of activities. It goes without saying that this is something the government must act immediately to correct. And that's the editorial for Tuesday, March 16, 2021. For more news and information, get a copy of the Manila Times on print. Subscribe to our digital edition or log on to www.manilatimes.net. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And listen to The Voice of the Times.